Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are playing another episode of Playing Crazy. However, today we are going to be building a fire truck. Now, I'm going to be completely honest right off the gate, right off the bat. Um, I don't know how to make a fire truck. And honestly, I don't know a lot about fire trucks. I don't know why I chose a fire truck, but I was like, you know, it'd be cool, a fire truck. And so that's what we're doing today. Um, it, it's gonna be pretty sad because I think I'm gonna have to look up a picture of a fire truck because I, I I don't I can't think of a fire truck for some reason my brain just does not want to work today but what I am going to do is make this a little bit bigger first of all and what I'm also gonna do is make it a little bit longer as well but what I want to have it do is you, you know like the ladder that uh, that they have on the top of the fire truck it just it just kind of sits on the top. I want to make that, but I want to make it spin. So I'm just going to start out with some basic shape here. I'm just, I'm just going to go from my memory before I start pulling up photos and stuff of what I think fire trucks look like. Because like I, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm not I'm not totally dumb dumb. I, 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 th I think I've got an idea of what they look like. I just got to kind of remember it. it. I don't know why. For some reason, I can't remember what a fire truck looks like. I think I've got a good idea, though. Alright, there we go. That looks pretty fire truck like. What is. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, this looks pretty fire truck like. I'm not too sure if there's too much more I'm gonna add to it. We just kinda gotta add the wheel wells so that our wheels actually fit in. But other than that, there's really not too much more to do to it. Alright, we're just gonna pop in full cylinders because why not? We can do that. Nobody can tell us not to. And that should be good. Now I'm going to add, I guess we can just put in some 0.9 blocks along the side. And then that shouldn't be a problem for the wheels. Yeah, yeah, well, that should be good. And the wheels won't stick to this, they'll sprint, they'll spin freely, and we won't have any problems whatsoever. I just realized now that I don't actually have a turning function in here now that I think about it. So I might just go the cheap way and just slap some like rocket engines in it just to get it to turn because I kind of don't want to redo this whole thing. So that'll be fine, but I'm going to make two little holes there and we are going to pop in our motors like so. Get our motors, make sure these go in correctly. Wheel please turn. There we go. Now we got some movement. Okay, so I, I did get a lot of comments from you guys on the last time I built a car. If I actually use, apparently, if I use fabric for the tires, it actually makes them grip a little bit better. And I think I can see that happening right now, so that's kind of good. I do need to flip one of these, so I think it's this one needs to go the other way. Oh my god, the lag that just got generated by that thing exploding was insane but we do have our car moving now so that is perfect that's exactly what I wanted um, but what I was thinking about the way that I wanted this thing to move was I was going to basically I was gonna change forward to this because if I do so backward would be that so if I do this if I, I just want to see if this works if I do that ah there we go so without having to do anything, my two front wheels can now turn perfectly fine. Okay, so that, that's exactly what I wanted. So now I don't have to worry about adding some overcomplicated thing. That should work perfectly fine. Now I need to add the back wheels, which will obviously make us be able to back up. And I need to add a cab to this thing. But right now it's looking pretty good. I must say it is looking pretty good. Okay, we're going, we're going fine. We back up. Ooh, backing up is not a thing that we like to do, apparently. Okay, that's kind of weird. Wonder why it doesn't want to back up. Huh. So for some reason, my wheel seems to be getting caught, but I'm not sure why. Or what it's getting caught on. That's really weird. I don't know what's going on there, but like, yeah, now we're fine. I don't know that's really odd 
Well, like I said, if worse comes to worse, I can always just cram a bunch of rocket engines into it and hope for the best. Okay, well, we're not going to keep worrying about the turning and stuff right now, because honestly, I just want to keep going on. I want to keep moving on and see what other things we can get to building. So I'm thinking if we can get some more blocks, let's get some more height on this thing. Maybe not too much more height, but a little bit more height we need for it to actually work. Um, I'm thinking if we put a couple more beams across, and then maybe up here we'll have our kind of viewing area, maybe? Something like that, and then have a beam go up to the middle? That sounds like a good idea. Alright, this thing is starting to get really hard to see. I'm really hoping that if I just paint the whole thing red, it's going to help. Uh, not really. Nah, no, that didn't help it all too much, but let's just see if we can get some material, maybe. Maybe some material will help. Eh, uh, not really, but let's, let's give it some more material, like diamond plate. Let's give it some diamond plate, like around... Oh, no, I didn't want to give it all diamond plate. I wanted to give it some diamond plate, not all diamond plate. Okay, maybe... Okay, so this thing is starting to look ridiculously tall, and I know I need to fix it. So I'm thinking... Maybe I do have to chop it down, and maybe I do need to make, like, right here, and right here, have to be the windows, maybe? And then I can chop everything down a little bit. I might have to do that, because it looks ridiculously tall right now. Okay, there we go. That's starting to look a little bit better. It looks a little bit more normal than it did before. I just had to really fix some things up because it was looking kind of wonky. Okay, so there we go. We've got kind of the overall shape I was going for on. Um, I am going to maybe put a few more areas for some glass as well. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll add a little bit more glass, like right, hmm. Yeah, like right there, maybe. All right, let's give this a quick test. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was hoping for. It does look relatively normal. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect by any means, but I think it looks all right. I'm going to probably add... Obviously, I need to add the top. And I do kind of want to add a, like, swiveling ladder. But I got to figure out how that goes on first. But oh my god, look at all the different builds that are going on here. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so we've kind of got a roof on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I learned from building a tank. And I'm basically just going to try to incorporate it into the fire truck. Because the swiveling arm action sort of thing that you get with the ladder is kind of similar to what you get with a tank cannon. So they should be pretty easy to do as long as I can remember what I was doing with the last time I did it. Okay, so we're gonna pop the cylinder on. We are going to take a another motor. Uh, where's our motors? We're gonna take a motor like this and we are going to... I don't know, what do we want this to be? We can just make it like uh, Z and X. Sure, I don't know. But we're gonna add that there and we are going to take a uh, what are we going to take? We're going to use another block. I'm just trying to figure out which block I want to use. I think I'm going to use the... I'm probably going to use half blocks, because half blocks will probably look the best. So let's take some half beams and slap them on like this. Okay, so let's give this a quick try. So we're moving. Okay, that works fine. Rotation <laughs> works good. I'm just kind of like chopping the heads off of everybody. Okay, um, so this was Zed. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, I can just, like, still chop people away. Hiya, get off my build. <laughs> um, so that works. This works. Oh, wow, that actually works really well. Okay, going way too far back does not work. But we can do this. We can go back. And we'd be like, oh, no, we need, we need to save somebody. Somebody's caught under my wheel. Never mind. No, they're not. And then I can turn it and be like, oh, there's people on top of me. Lower this. Hiya! And then I decapitate them all because that's what we do. Okay. Test number two. Uh, let's see if we can get going. 
Oh, we are on the move. This thing goes pretty quick once you start going. Again, turning just isn't great. But you know what? That's perfectly fine because I'm really happy that we actually got the whole rotating ladder working. Okay, I've never actually used the horn before. What is... If, if I make it really low pitch, will it actually like sound like deep and menacing? Uh, okay, let's raise that up a little bit. Eh, that'll work. Sure, why not? Just honk at people. Eh, 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 get out of the way! We got fire! We got a fire! We gotta go! I really wish we could turn! We can't turn! We don't turn very well! Actually, you know what? Let's add some turning! Let's make this thing turn a little bit better! Oh yeah, this is this is the turning system everybody wanted to see. So let me just increase power there, decrease power there. This will be for turning this way, so increase power, decrease power, on off only mode. This will be fine. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, I think I might have messed something up. Alright, try it again. One more time. Oh god, we're going a little bit quick. A little bit quick. There we go. Can we turn? Can we please turn? I would like to turn. We do not turn very well. Get back up. That's fine. Ladder lets us get back up. Can we turn? We're not turning. Can I... Please, I just want to turn. I would, I would like to turn. Can we just turn? There we go. Come on, can we turn? Are we turning? I can't tell if we're turning. We're not turning. We're not turning anywhere fast. That's for sure. Oh, I forgot. We also need to add some ladders onto the back to actually climb up to our ladder at the top. There we go. That, that, looks, that looks pretty good. Um, is there anything else I can add? I feel like there's something I could add in here. Maybe, you know what, you know what, I've got an idea. We could also add two more seats onto the side, onto each side for having, like, people who are, like, riding on the outside of it so they can actually stick to it without, you know, flying off at, like, 100 miles an hour. Because that would suck. Alright, we saved the fire truck. Um, I don't know, I don't know how to improve the turning. I, I'm really not sure. I, I thought I would... It would work with maybe like adding rockets and stuff to it, but that didn't seem to work. I tried the special turning method that I thought I invented. That didn't work. So I'm really not totally sure what I could do to make this thing work. So hey, if you guys know, let me know in the comments because honestly, at, as of this point, I have no idea. Alright, well there we go guys. There is my fire truck. It does not turn in the slightest. I don't know why. I don't know how to fix it. But uh, it, it's, 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 it's perfectly fine. We will get to the fire as long as it's in the right direction from us and we don't have to turn. Because if we have to turn, then we're probably never going to get there and off the edge we go. So anyways guys, like I said, this is all I've got for this video. If you guys liked this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye. Whee!